Hello everyone, this is Deborah Vance. I'm here in my studio. I want to share with you today a little bit more about the process I use on some of my oil paintings. This I'll share with you. This is a painting that I did. It's actually near here. Uh, it's a fountain and some architecture that I painted. It's actually our mayor's home here in San Angelo. But the process started here in my studio with what is called a subtractive underpainting. So I'm going to show you that today in a time-lapse, hyperlapse kind of mode. So what we're going to do, I'm going to use this painting and I want to use this technique because the brown that I will use to subtract from will be the basis for this nice sepia painting. We went to the Stillwell Dream of Steam and this gentleman who played Mr. Stillwell, his wife took this picture like a year ago and he gave me permission to use it. I told him I wanted to take a crack at recreating it and I'm going to make this painting so I'm going to put it on this canvas. So let's get started. Okay, so here in my studio, you've seen my big easel. I also have a glass topped drafting table. I mix my paint on a glass top easel. So this table just simply becomes a palette and the glass uh, palette also is for my smaller dabs of paint when I'm painting a full color painting. So we're gonna use this here I'm going to mix. I have a subtraction medium, which is six parts solvent and one part glazing medium, oil medium. And I have some transparent oil paints. I have a soft brush and what is called, wrong way, subtraction tool. And then I have my uh, stuff to clean my brush, my Gamsol. So, Here's how this works. I'm painting, I'm gonna mix this up and I'm gonna paint it onto the canvas. And I'm gonna start drawing freehand and subtracting out the painting. So here, Okay, so we're back. Are you ready to see how it came out? Here it is. This is the start of the painting. This is not completed, but I thought it was just too much fun to add those bow ties, so I had to do it. Let me move my camera away in here and let you get a look. So now everybody's in their official spot, and the painting will continue in a thousand shades of browns and grays. Again, I mixed my medium over here, six parts thinner, one part medium to my oil paint, and I brushed everything on and then started lifting the paint out with my subtractions, bleh, subtraction tool. And I used a rag to take their face out. I uh, want to do that in detail. I lifted some of the brown and made it lighter on Pancho Villa's uh, pants and shirt and lifted some of the shirts. I just, like I said, I wanted to share this with you. I took the rag and I lifted some of the background, just kind of leaving it so it looks like a stuccoed wall back there because they're the stars of the show. Now, if I add 
other things behind them? I'm not sure yet, so stay tuned and check back in often and see how this goes. This will be my entry for the realism show that will be at the Kendall Art Museum here in San Angelo. Thank you for tuning in. This is Deborah Vance. Give me a call. Come by the studio and see how it's coming. You'll enjoy it. I know I always enjoy visiting with you. Bye now.